Right, welcome back to another episode of Testing the Tips, where I, as an average golfer, interpret videos from the top coaches out there in terms of YouTube, at least, and uh, let you know how I have gotten on with them and if you should be trying them for yourself. And in today's video, I am going very much backwards to where Testing the Tips started almost two years ago when it wasn't a channel of its own. The reason I'm doing that is because I learned a valuable lesson, one that I think is very much worth relaying to you today. It is how to make sure you get a very much a consistent strike with both your irons and your driver. And trust me, they are very, very different. Now, the drill I'm about to relay to you is gonna require ideally a roll of masking tape or similar if you're gonna take this to the driving range and try it. But there are substitutes for out on the course and I'll explain exactly what we're doing very, very shortly. I've got a driver teed up and I've got an iron teed up and I've got one piece of masking tape and this will really help you understand something called low point and by understanding low point, it will change your mentality in terms of how you look to strike both the iron and the driver. And that piece of masking tape is a very, very useful help. So why is that masking tape so important? How is it going to improve our strike? And why is it behind the driver? And why is it in front of the iron setup? Well, let's start with the iron explanation first of all. In fact, let's start with the explanation of what low point is to make sure everybody fully understands it. Now within the arc, the full swing arc, there will be a low point within it. That low point is essentially where your arms are fully extended club head furthest away from your body and the part where you make contact with the ground, I suppose. That low point can be behind the ball, which will mean you'll, you'll fat it, you'll chunk it. It can also be behind the ball on a slightly upward blow, which will mean you're gonna thin it. You can have all kinds of repercussions and understanding where your low point should be between the two different clubs, in this case, driver and irons is really key to making sure that you get a real quality strike on the ball. And it's different, like I said, very different. And it was the one lesson going back to whenever that initial video was shot that really changed my game in terms of, first of all, fully understanding that low point element. And we're not going to talk about anything to do with backswing. We're not going to talk about any of the swing at all. We're just going to talk about a concentration of trying to get our low point, first of all, in terms of the iron as a descending blow and our low point to be after the balls or after contact's been made. And what you'll see if you watch the TV, you'll see plenty of golfers or any good golf you've played with, they'll hit the ball first, then they'll hit ground. That's where the divot is. That's where you see a divot with a iron. You don't see, hopefully, a divot with a driver because they're very much different blows. This is a descending blow. And where we're looking to make our low point is not behind the ball, it's not on the ball, it's literally after. And that's what that tape indicates. That's a line, a visual aid that we're gonna attempt to hit and remove um, from the driving range mat with this swing. So, normal swing, nice and easy. All I'm concentrating on doing is moving myself to make sure that I start to hit a descending blow and I don't stay back here. I don't start to top it. I move my body, I turn, I rotate, and then I come down on the ball. Don't do what I just did then. I've got to make sure that I hit down on it. And this is what should happen. So swing back. And what you'll see is that the tape is, well, there it is, the tape is removed. And that's why if you're in the driving range, it is an ideal situation to just take yourself that roll of tape, put it in front of the ball. It works very similar again with fairway woods and hybrids as well, in that trying to get that descending blow, just a visual concentration of moving your low point past the ball through impact. It will improve your strike of your irons no end, trust me. But it changes for drive and it changes quite significantly. And for that, we're gonna need another bit of masking tape. Right, tape has been replenished and you'll notice it's about four inches behind the ball. Very, very different than the iron. And why is that? Well, because the low point in the arc with driver in hand needs to be very much behind the ball. Now, when I first seen this method, my perception would be, and maybe you're asking yourself the same question, if I'm gonna make my low point there, surely I'm gonna to start topping the ball. And you don't. 
I don't really into the science as to why you don't, but essentially we're going to be hitting very much an upward blow. And if our low point is where the tape is aligned, we start to swing on an upward plane, and that is the ideal situation to maximize potential and distance with driver in hand. So what you're going to have to do, I'll hit the ball very, very shortly, because it's again, when I first, going back to this sort of two years ago, when I first had this concept fed to me, it was very, very different. So you set up in your standard position, and then what you're looking to do is you're looking to, you're turning, and then you're looking to make sure that you're hitting the ground almost behind the ball. Okay, so let me set up properly. I don't know if you can see from that camera in front there that what I'm doing is all of a sudden it starts to get me. First of all, it does a few things with driver in my opinion. It opens and rotates the hips a little bit better through that impact position because I've got to sort of make my room, if you like, to try to do that. For some reason, it, it, it has a, another positive effect in my opinion. But the idea is, and quite simply to understand, what we don't want, if we start to hit a descending blow with driver and our low point was similar to that of the irons, we hit very much a low shot. We deal off the club. It's already a struggle with the amount of loft that we've got on drivers anyway. That's not what we want to do. And it's not how you maximize, like I said, potential in the golf swing. So low point with driver, very much behind the ball. And like I said at the beginning of this one, forget everything else right now. So forget all the other swing issues that we might have. Just concentrate on improving the quality of strike in both irons and driver. So all I'm going to look at, I'm going to get my regular position. But what I know is when I turn, I'm going to come back and my concentration is that piece of tape. Now, that ball has absolutely flown out there and there's a big difference with this one. You'll notice that the piece of tape isn't removed. And that's a good thing in my opinion because what we're doing, we're very much, we're concentrating on it, but we're not hitting it. I don't really want to hit the ground. And that's what I said, even though you think you're driving towards that position, because it's on the upward blow, it tends to be, you won't touch that at all. And all you'll do is meet that uh, teed up ball in a perfect position. The strike and the quality of strike will be really good. Whereas as I say, going back to the iron, it's a complete opposite. We're descending, we're hitting down on the ball and the tape should remove. And that's why for me, the bit of masking tape, it might look a bit silly in the driving range, but it's a real good visual aid to help you understand. Now obviously what's gonna to have to happen, at some point that tape has got to go you're out on the fairways you don't have that kind of thing uh, unfortunately we can't roll some tape along the grass so then what you've got to do you take your address position but you've got a very clear simple visual um, me memory of where that tape was so all i do then is i think about that piece of masking tape and i swing in exactly the same way trying to hit the piece of masking tape irons exactly the same where am i concentrating on in front of the ball if you do take it out on the fairways and you do want to try this the simple situation is just get a t-peg and put a t-peg in the ground obviously make sure it's pretty flush you do two things you obviously with a driver you shouldn't make contact with it you might hear a little bit of a clip with it but with the irons and fairway wood you can try this one you'll hit a descending blow and you should fire the t-peg out of the ground so you can take it from inside in the driving range and out into the fairways that's it very very simple one like i said i can't even remember where the original tip come from but it's not about looking at the ball. Don't look at the ball. Look at those two or visualize those two markings that we talked about with iron ore driver. And my guess is this is a drill well worth you trying and it should improve the quality of your ball striking. Right, as ever, that's me done. Try and keep it short and sweet. Thank you as ever for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Subscribe if you don't already. Um, give me some comments, give me some feedback. I always like to hear what you're thinking of the channel and I will see you all very soon.